Hi everybody, how are you? Good morning, it's been a while. Hi, hi, hi. So let's get cracking. I haven't opened it. Um, I've borrowed other people's. So I have seen it, uh, but I haven't opened mine. All right, so here's what the packaging looks like. Uh, so Glorious PC Gaming Race. We have the board. And then inside, you know, I already showed you that card. We have um, extra gasket strips, keycap puller, the cord, and the uh, switch puller. Um, should I go get some other stuff Gloria sent me so we could try it all out together? Don't mind me. I'm just, uh, I'm just carrying some average ordinary. Shall we build the Dune K Pro? I think we're gonna build it stock with inks. That's usually the way we go. That's what we did for the NK87. Uh, so I think that's what we're gonna do for this just to start. Am I expecting the stabs to sound good? Absolutely the fuck not. Am I expecting it to sound pretty solid? Yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping our NK87 sound test in the back of my mind, even though that was more expensive than this. So I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind too. Uh, other boards I'm going to keep in the back of my mind are the Icky. Have it right next to me. I also actually have the NK87 next to me, not assembled. So I was filming something for you guys. Um, the NK65 is in the back of my mind. These are all very comparable to each other. So just telling you where I'm coming from with this first impression, so you know. I do personally recommend, especially if you're new, and usually I try to like exemplify this, uh, you support the hot swap sockets from behind when pushing and switches, so you don't have to worry about it popping off. If anything pops off while I'm doing it, it's my fault. Although that is a slight indicator of a slightly shitty PCB. All right, and with this stock sound test, and actually with all of these sound tests, I'm going to use Glorious's own PBT. I'm a, am I expecting amazing things from this? No, but because this is such a glorious heavy spring and spring <laughs> stream uh, and because I feel like uh, a lot of the people who this is marketed towards uh, would probably want to pick up uh, a key set when they're picking up their board from the same site. I'm going to do that. I feel like that will be most useful specifically, especially for the stock sound test, but we're going to keep it on for congruity. Also, because I have nothing else to use, I am out of key sets. So, this is gonna help me too. <laughs> Taihao ABS versus Glorious PBT. I have some Taihao keycaps. We will pull them out and compare. I don't know much about keyboards, but what does that knob do on the top right? So, it should be mappable. I believe Glorious currently uses their own software. This is, however, QMK compatible. Uh, I believe they are trying to figure out VIA for it. But, that being said, uh, it, it should be remappable. But I believe the default and what most people use it for is volume. Let's put on these keycaps. I'm not expecting great things. I'm not expecting terrible things. I'm not expecting great things. Should I grab the Tai Hao keycap set? I don't know if I have a full set. If I'm being honest, I'm pretty sure I'm minus pieces, which is the only reason I didn't sell it. I want a single Tai Hao keycap. Will that count? <laughs> Will that work? Let me just bring out my giant fuck off thing of OEM keycaps. Let me dump some of these out. Please hold. These are honestly not looking great. The, the first little tray. Um, some some kind of questionable font and legend alignment choices. Second tray. Same deal. Sorry, I'm a little out of focus there. There you go. I can see there's graininess to the caps. Uh, the the printing on the caps specifically. Um, that you might not necessarily be able to see from that. Are they like 30 bucks or something? 50? Okay, that's, that's a little high, but okay. See how that function is a little more bold than that control uh, and that code. So you can see it's having some of the usual like lower quality die subbing issues. But that's okay, that's kind of what I expected. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting great things for the price, especially not from a larger company. What does GOAT mean? Uh, he, he already told this story, so I can tell it again on stream. Um, Wilma didn't know that GOAT was an acronym. <laughs> he just thought it was like, I don't know, like, poggers. He didn't know it stood for something. <laughs> Until I was literally telling him about these stabilizers. I was like, they, they have like these stabilizers called like the greatest of all time. He was like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> It stands for something. <laughs> Let's flip these over and check the thickness. So these are significantly thicker than Tai Hao. Uh, I would put them probably at about the same thickness as Infiniki, actually. Let me. There you go. So this is Infiniki. That's the GMK. They're about the same thickness. 
As you can tell, the bottoms of the chair game one are not scuffed, unlike my fucking infinity. I don't want to talk about it, <laughs> ah! Very nice eyes today. Well, thank you. I, uh, I, I chose these eyes specifically for you. This is popped them in for my eye collection. Anyway, let's do a sound test. So you see any of that RGB underglow? Uh, keep in mind, I have my... This is looking a little dimmer uh, on camera than it does IRL. It's very nicely diffused. Uh, I think they did a really good job with that, actually. And I think design-wise, it really works. Okay, I'm going to take my earbuds out, too, because I want to hear it. Um, so this is with Glorious's PBT, Lubed Gat Inks, uh, Stock Stabilizes, and the everything else within the board is stock. I haven't even opened it, so... Okie dokie. Here we go. Okay, and then here's your mods. I'm <laughs> definitely getting some significant rattle on the right side. You don't really hear that because I hit the space bar with my left, but it's definitely there. All right, there you go. I feel like some of my stabs are better than I've heard other people's, and then some of them are worse. <laughs> I think you're getting really good value for money. Just don't expect this to be like end game. <laughs> uh, unless, you know, you aren't an enthusiast enthusiast. Unless, you know, you know, this is all you can afford and there's nothing wrong with that. But don't expect this to be the best keyboard ever. It's really good for the price, but it's not like amazing, amazing. <laughs> the gasketing is kind of lost. It's not worth mentioning because you've, you've got these stacks of foam you're you're not feeling any flex from it um it's it's going to be relatively stiff uh, as far as it goes uh also because you have these stacks of foam your plate material is going to be kind of wasted on this as well um i think probably and again i haven't tried this but probably what's going to happen if you try to use different materials of plates they're going to sound more or less the same there might be some slight difference but i don't think it would be worth it uh to change between them can you remove the, the foam that's going on here? Yes. Then I take it back. I would say, if you want to get different plates, pull your foam. <laughs> pull your foam and play with it that way. Okay, that changes my opinion significantly because all of a sudden the gaskets start doing something. That makes this go from like a good option for the price to a great option for the price, especially for different people, in my opinion. Now, I don't know how they implemented gasketing. You know, it could still do basically nothing. Um, they could have too much compression on those gaskets, they could have too many, but that is a little bit better, I think. Wouldn't it sound hollow then? Only if it is an absolutely garbage board. A little spicy, maybe, truth, yes. Not a lot of room in this, this, this room. There's not a lot of room in this room. Hmm. Just kick the boards around to it. There's not boards on my floor. Why does everybody think I just store boards on my- What kind of, like, degenerate do you think I am? I don't just keep keyboards on my floor. It's literally just, like, packaging from all the stuff we unboxed. Jesus Christ. Why is the face cam oh, on? sorry. Hello. Alright, do I go? What's in here, first of all? Wait, do I have- Yeah, everything's good. I have, to, uh, I have to go like this. No, no, I didn't. Mahalo. <laughs> <laughs> I took the- Oh, what are these again? Inks. I love the inks. Are you sure they're inks? Where are these keycaps? I'm sure the, the What is going on? Did something happen? 
this e key is busted. All right, exactly. we're gonna we're gonna pretend like we're doing a typing test. Okay. That's what I do. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and people redeem oh no typing test because I type like a little baby fairy and he types like he's finger fucking an elephant. <laughs> I wonder if yeah interesting ah fuck I forgot I forgot I have that bound Takis are great I love getting a cup of ketchup what the fuck did I just read okay it looks like there's a lot of compression on this gasket because um woo loud okay that, that just popped out uh, did not want to be there so all right, so my gaskets, my gaskets look fine. Oh, there's a daughter board, I forgot. Can I just say, I think my favorite thing about the GMK Pro, and one of those things where I'm like, why did nobody else do this before now? And something I hope other people do actually do, this channel, you guys have no idea how annoying it is. Oh, this one actually popped out a little bit. That's my fault, probably. I don't know why nobody thought of this uh, before GMK. Oh shit, I'm pulling out stab screws. Aha! I'm dumb, chat! <laughs> um, have you tried the SP mod? Ep EPC mod. Is that the one where you just shove Switch films up the ass with this tab? Because no, I'm not really into shoving random shit up asses. <laughs> Why is this glued? Alright, so here's the plate package on the outside. Here's what literally just came out. Looks like there's two cardboard pieces to keep it supported. Okay, let's pull this out. I think my phone got folded here a little bit. Okay. Um, so polycarb plate, stock stabs, GMK, PBT. All right. Here's the mods. Like I said, still not the worst tabs I've ever used, but definitely not amazing. Um, can you test if the Durox tabs fit the Allure breastplate before you end the stream, please? Yes, because you asked it very nicely. I have a singular housing, so we're gonna... Oh, that is tight, tight. I think it'll just fit, uh, but you're gonna have to press down hard. Okay, it's fitting for me, but it is tight. It'll probably scratch your housings, yeah, a little bit. Thank you so much, Glorious, for tuning in, and thank you again for sending me these products to show, to chat. Um, I know this is like the world's longest goodbye, but Glorious seriously deserves uh, a thank you for sending this to me so I can give you my opinion on it to you guys. Uh, and for allowing me to give my honest, unbiased opinion as well. I appreciate that sincerely. Uh, and I hope you all have a wonderful night. Goodbye, friends. I hope the Nikes heal you. Me too. Enjoy Mechs on Deck. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.